Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from this month's sponsor, Ethico. In the delicate arena of compliance, every conversation matters. Traditional methods can leave callers feeling unheard, but Ethico changes the game. Our empathetic interview technique reshapes compliance calls into powerful, compassionate interactions, ensuring no crucial detail is missed. It's about creating a conversation that matters, that resonates, that makes a difference. Be the change in your compliance approach. See the transformation for yourself at ethico.com slash CPN. Book a demo, try our free ROI calculator, and explore the white paper by Tom Fox, the ROI of compliance. The Daily Compliance News for May 13, 2024, the Not Your Mother's edition. And we begin with that story from the Financial Times. Indeed, all stories today come from the Financial Times. As the head of the, uh, or PR head at the Chinese search group Baidu has resigned after uh, his I'm Not Your Mom outburst. Uh, the uh, person, Q Jing, left the company after posting a series of social media videos in which she demeaned staff, uh, particularly with her comment that I am not your mother. So happy Mother's Day, Q Jing. We know you're not our mother. Uh, next up, and in the um, idea of category of either what could go wrong or perhaps the most idiotic idea I've ever had is employers are now offering ketamine through company health schemes um, to improve productivity. Uh, Of course, it's an anesthetic with a reputation as a party drug, but uh, the experience um, has led some companies to actually offer it as a therapy in the employee benefits package. Ketamine-assisted psychotherapy is offered through uh, several employees employers and it's improved by the FDA for use as an anesthetic. So um, wow, getting high at work for work. What could go wrong? Um, and in the what can go wrong department, um, Apple uh, in perhaps one of the most tone dead ads ever um, got slammed and rightly so for their ad debuting its latest iPad um at a London launch event. The uh, ad itself is really just pretty unbelievable as it crushes about every music-making technology and other fun tool that you've used um, probably most of your life, saying that the uh, iPad takes them all all to place now. Um, What makes the ad so incredibly tone-deaf is that Apple is basically saying, we're going to crush you, Mr. Worker and Ms. Worker, out of existence. And we're going to crush all the tools you used, except they're not, because it's just an iPad. Um, Now, when you book in that with the great Apple ad from 1984 about the Macintosh, you can see they really missed the mark on it, but at least they pulled it. And our final story comes to us that um, says the cyber in Risk is increasing, and this time it's personal as new U.S. rules around the disclosure of data breaches are heaping more pressure on chief uh, CISOs and others within their organizations who had this. Uh, There's going to be greater penalties, and of course, you actually have to tell the truth if you have a cyber breach. So more pressure on CISOs. As I mentioned at the start of this podcast, this month's sponsor for the entire Compliance Podcast Network is Ethico. Have you ever wondered how to show the ROI of your compliance program? Have you struggled with the budgeting process, getting the funds you want for your compliance program? Well, I've partnered with Ethico to put together a white paper on the ROI of compliance, which shows you not only how to demonstrate ROI, but also how to speak finance when you're sitting across from the CFO with your budget proposals. Check out the website and Get the white paper. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.